What up, y'all? It's your boy Terminology, ST Doctor Squad. I'm holding it down with my people. It's Mayhem TV, Boston and London, baby. Let's get it. What's good, boss? Chilling, man. Good to be out here, man. Chilling in London right now. You know what I mean? Terminology, ST Squad. What's the deal? Yeah, man. You were supposed to come the first time around. What happened last time, man? I had some madness at the airport or something like that, man. Yeah, man. I got here in March. Uh, you know, got to the border. The uh, UK border with a feeling kid. Ended up locking up me and my DJ dead eye for like six hours. Threw us in his holding cell, took all our stuff, you know what I mean? Took our pictures, fingerprinted us, and threw us out of the country. So we wasn't able to make the show in Leeds, but um, you know, we was here now and we had a good show last night with AZ. You know what I'm saying? It went smooth, so it's good to be out here, man. So I love now. Yeah, okay, so since you've been here, who have you been networking with, would you say? Um, man, I've seen a lot of people out here. Um, since I got to Europe, uh, I just I just came from Spain. I flew in from Spain. Uh, before that, I was in Belgium. Tomorrow, I go to Denmark. So I'm just bouncing around, man. I'm moving. You know what I mean? I'm on the go. So what are you currently working on at the moment? Right now, I got an album coming out called 1982. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the album is a collaborative effort. Me and my man DJ Static Selector. It's kind of like a game star thing. You know what I mean? He's, he's the producer, I'm the MC. So uh, that album is dropping October 26th, you know what I mean? So you cop it on iTunes right now. So uh, you know, if, you, if you go straight to the iPod, you know what I mean? Cop it off iTunes. If not, go to the store, cop the physical joint. It's all love. Yeah, so um, you also mentioned about a project involving you and Lil Fame from MLP. Yeah, Can you we, elaborate more on that? Yeah, we, we pretty much wrapped that up, man. We finished that up. Um, we're just trying to do maybe like one more song and, uh, and mix the album. It's called Physiology. That's Fizzy Womack and Terminology smashed together. You know what I mean? MLP, ST. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's crazy. It's nuts. So what direction do you see your career going in that? Um, well, man, I'm just living, man. I'm just, I'm just happy to be doing this hip-hop thing. I'm touring. I've been touring the world lately. I've been to over 30 countries in the last year. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm getting money off doing what I love. So, I mean, I, all I can do is just be happy about that. You know what I'm saying? And um, everything seems to be looking up. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting radio play, uh, MTV Jams, uh, MTV U, spinning my video. So, um, yeah, we're getting out there, dog. And, Everything's going, everything's going well right now. Okay, so can you see yourself like going mainstream, like? Well, I mean, I guess that that's what you you know it depends on what you call mainstream. Cause you look at an artist like Eminem or, or like Nas, they're, they're mainstream because they are major labels and they're big. But the music they make isn't necessarily mainstream. You know what I mean? So hopefully, what I do would would pop off to a level like that of like a Nas or or J or M. You know what I'm saying? But um, but I'm gonna definitely continue to keep making the type of music I make. You know what I'm saying? That raw street shit. And um, you never know, man, what the future holds. I see, I see, I see. So how would you describe your sound? Um, it, to me, it just, it, I, I, I think I got like a New York sound. You know what I mean? Just, just through the producers I work with. I work with Pete Rock, I work with Alchemist, I work with Havoc, Mark D, High Tech. You know what I mean? DJ Status Selector, DJ Premier, Buck Wild. You know what I'm saying? The, the producers that I work with have a, have a New York sound, you know, but I'm actually from Lawrence, Massachusetts. That's right near Boston. So, you know, we got our own slang, we got our own um, accent, and our own things we rap about and shit we see, you know what I mean? So, it's definitely a unique sound. See? It's good, man. So, so you've got your album dropping. Yes, sir. 1982 drop in. You got the project with um, Lil Fame. Lil Fame drop in as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, um, what would you say your online game is like? What have you got online that we can, if we want to find out more about you and whatnot? Well, you can go to terminologymusic.com. That's my website. I also got a group called ST. You know what I mean? There's ten of us, eight rappers, one DJ, and one promotional cat. You know what I mean? We're, we're more like a family than a group because uh, you know we all knew each other for for years. You know what I'm saying? ST, ST's a squad, ST's a label. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we doing our thing. I'm trying to help them cats propel to the next level. My DJ, Dada, he got an album coming out called Substance Abuse. And, um, yeah, just touring, man, putting out product, dropping videos, just doing what we got to do to stay out there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I think probably next summer I'm going to work on my sophomore album, a solo terminology album. We'll see where that goes. Okay, so you're, you're putting that all off out on your own back, yeah? You're not on no um, independent label or 
Yeah, well, right now, uh, the 1982 is on ST Records. That's my label. Okay, you're show off records, Static Selectors label. All right. You know, and it's being distributed by Break Records, uh -huh. uh, Traffic Entertainment. Uh -huh. So that's that. You know, physiology of the album with me and Fame, we don't got a deal for that yet. We're still shopping that. So we don't know where that's going to end up. But um, hopefully 1982 does well, and that'll, that'll set up a, a, a better deal for physiology. Is there any um, particular artist that you would like to work with that you haven't had the chance to work with or you've been speaking with or is in the pipeline? Yeah, man, there's a lot of artists, you know, I mean, I'm a fan of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? So this, I mean, you know, I like to work with a million people, Dr. Dre, you know, Kanye, Timbaland, uh, Cameron, shit, Rakim, you know, but I, I've been blessed, man, I've been able to work with with more than half the people that I that I grew up loving, you know what I'm saying? I got I got records with the locks, you know what I'm saying? Sheik Luch, Bun B. I got records with um Q Tip, I got, you know, records with Red Cafe and Mob Deep and MOP and Inspector Deck, Wu Tang, Freeway, Saigon. I mean the list just goes on, you know what I'm saying? I've done like a lot of collaborations already in my career, so I'm already happy where I'm at, but at the same time, you know, I'm a fan of hip hop, so I'm down to keep working for sure. So obviously, um, not many people know this. Probably not a lot of people in the UK may not know this. You're actually um, Puerto Rican, am I correct? Yes. So, um, what's the um, the response you get from your um, your community, like the Puerto Rican community? It's big, man. It's big. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of Latin artists doing it, and there's definitely not a lot of Puerto Rican artists doing it. You know. It's me, Joel Ortiz, and a few others, you know. But um, besides this man right here, you know, Big Pun, wow. Fat Joe, wow. you know, Pun and Joe really was the ones who, who, who was like, you know, the the fathers of this Boricua, you know what I'm saying, Puerto Rican movement. You know, I look up to both of them, and you know, also Nori, you know, Nori, Nori too. But you know, um, with the exception of those cats, who's, who's more the OGs, um, a lot of the young cats just, I don't know, they're not going hard, you know, they're not going hard enough, so you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's good to see Joel doing well, you know, free true life, true life doing his thing. And there's a couple of others, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they, the, the fans, is, they, they show love, man. They definitely show love. So I guess um, Big Pun was a heavy influence on you Yeah, big, your music. big influence, man, because uh, just, just being a Latin artist, you know, he was kind of like the king of that. And uh, he was like our only hero, you know what I'm saying? And to see him... To see him pass away with his untimely demise, it's just really whack, you know what I mean? Because he, he he was opening a lot of doors, and he did open a lot of doors for artists like myself. But I don't know if you, I mean, if, if you notice, but like when Pun was out, he, he brought such a sound, such a Latin sound that everybody was like latching on to his sound, you know what I'm saying? You had like Eve doing Spanish records, and J-Lo's howling at him, and this one and that one, and it was like, you know, once he died, I, I kind of feel like, <clears throat> the Latin and Puerto Rican movement kind of died with him, you know what I'm saying, to a sense. So, um, you know, I just feel like I'm keeping it alive and I'll continue to do that.